Hello, how are you? Shall we study Bible together? Uh, but before I give you a message, uh, I'd like to give you an announcement about uh, uh, our church uh, Christmas events. Uh, the December 22nd, a Saturday, uh, start from 7 p.m., uh, uh, we are going to have uh, Christmas events uh, at a place called Pipia, uh, Mefu, uh, which is located at the right outside of a train station called uh, Mefu Jinja train station on the Hanky Railroad in Tak Takarazuka Line. Uh, we're going to start, uh, we're going to have our Christmas events. Uh, please come and uh, you can check our website as well, uh, www.tfc-church. Uh, tfc-church.com but either way the Takatsuka Fellowship Church uh, we're going to have a Christmas event uh, Saturday uh, 22nd at 7 p.m. Um, now the, we do have a food so uh, you can come with a hungry stomach and uh, you can eat uh, a bunch of food as well and enjoy the uh, Christmas event the skits and the music and all that we're gonna have one time wonderful time so please come okay now shall we study the uh, Bible uh, lesson uh, now uh, Jesus, uh, last week we have learned that Jesus went to the uh, Samaria and the people in the Samarians, uh, they didn't accept uh, Jesus and his disciples. So the uh, disciples were very, very uh, furiously upset about this. Uh, but then at the same time, uh, the uh, Bible revealed to us that, uh, how important to uh, follow Jesus. And uh, some people, you know, uh, how you have to have a commitment to follow the Jesus. And today, uh, after this, apparently the Jesus uh, select the 70 people, uh, the 70 that are going to follow Jesus, the uh, Jesus follower of the 70, that he sent them to different towns uh, for ministry. And that we're going to study today. The Luke chapter 10. Uh, verse 1, uh, start from verse 1 to 24. Uh, so if you have a Bible, please open your Bible to Luke uh, chapter 10. Um, I'm going to read uh, from uh, NET, uh, New English Translation Bible. The Luke chapter 10, verse 1 and 2. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him two by two into every town and place where he himself was about to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest. Um, now, here the Jesus select uh, 72 people according to uh, NET Bible. Uh, but some Bible, you probably notice, uh, is a 70 people. Now, how many people Jesus select here? Is it 70 or 72? Uh, which one do you think is correct? Uh, the uh, answer to this uh, question is uh, more likely I have to say uh, both correct uh, because uh, when we look at the uh, ancient manuscript in the Bible uh, there's so many uh, manuscripts but in both the, just about equal uh, 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 equally that um, um, the, some say 70 some say 72 so uh, which one's correct? <laughs> Probably uh, both correct. Uh, now, I personally like uh, number 70 because uh, uh, that's a number uh, seems got uh, used in the past. Like uh, when God select, there are uh, the 70 uh, elder in Israel and the Sanhedrin was 70 uh, when they picked that the leaders on the Jewish community uh, and also uh, when, when the uh, Joseph and his family went to Egypt I'm um, just I mean the uh, Jacob and his family went to Egypt was uh, 70 people and uh, so God se seems to select the 70 people uh, even the uh, Bible translation was done by uh, uh, Septuagint it means a 70 people translation uh, so uh, 70, uh, 70 se se seems quite often Bible used but some scholars believe it's probably 72 is uh, original because they're the uh, word to man duo uh, is, uh, is possibly dropped out and become 70 maybe. So some scholars say it was, it was 72, but both probably correct. But either way, it doesn't, I think it doesn't matter if it's 70 or 72. But uh, so here, the, uh, uh, Jesus select uh, 70 or 72 people and then first instruction Jesus gave to these people are uh, to uh, uh, f uh, is um, uh, for them to pray, to pray for harvest, and that is the first things Jesus asked them to them to do. The pray for harvest, and uh, quite often the Bible uh, used parable either harvest or fishing, and in this case he used the parable uh, of the ministry is like a harvest. 
and there's a time the in case of a harvest uh in case of uh, you know uh farming uh there's a time for uh, planting the seed and uh there's a time for a uh, harvest and uh, probably the harvest is more fun than planting the seed i think it is both probably very important but nevertheless uh here that jesus asked this 70 or well, 72 to pray for the harvest and then after this uh the uh you know uh jesus uh that, that, that told them that uh, they are sending Jesus sending them like uh, sending them to uh, like a bunch of a wolf. Uh, let's read in the verse three and four. Go, I am sending you out like lambs surrounded by wolves. Do not carry a money bag, a travel bag, or sandals, and greet no one on the road. Um, now questions are Jesus sending this uh, seventy people. To throughout the towns that he's he's about to go. Now where are they? Um, now do you remember that during the Galilean ministry, uh, Jesus also sent the twelve his disciple to uh, every town of the Galilee. Uh, then here it's very similar that he now he's sending the seventy or seventy two to uh, uh, towns he eventually uh, are going. And um, so more likely, uh, since this is a story happened between the time he left the Galilee to the Jerusalem, so it's probably the towns in the Samaria, Samaria and all the area of the uh, Judea land, or possibly in the, even Gentiles land, we don't know for sure. But then uh, uh, Jesus sent uh, 70 people to throughout the uh, vast regions of the Israel and to cover entire Israel. And um, then... Uh, the very interesting that he was saying that uh, he's sending uh, 70 people it's like uh, they're like a sheep and send it to the uh, midst of a bunch of a wolf um, sending the sheep into the wolf is definitely uh, best things to do because uh, it's just like a feeding those wolf you know what I mean uh, a sheep is uh, probably going to be attacked and uh, eaten by a wolf right away uh, but then Jesus said, uh, sending 70 is just like that. You know, you guys will be going to have a tough time. Uh, you guys are going to be uh, uh, beaten, eaten, and chased by uh, wolves. Uh, but then at the same time, still, even though, don't bring anything with you. Uh, no money, and no traveling bag, and not even shoes. So, uh, that, that's amazing, I would say. Uh, which means these 70 people have to depend on uh, God to provide and also the, they had to depend on people who would provide for them so the total dependency that uh, seems like a God uh, asking for these 70 people and then um, obviously some people some houses are going to accept them and Jesus told them another instruction after this in the verse 5 uh, following uh, let me read the verse 5 and 6 whenever you enter a house first say may peace be on this house and if a peace-loving person is there, uh, their uh, peace will remain on him. But if not, it will return to you. Now here, uh, when they go out, and they don't have even money, so they definitely have to depend on uh, first God and uh, the people who are going to accept them. And when they go into the uh, uh, house of the people who accept them, the first thing Jesus told them to do is to uh, give them blessing. And um, uh, so give them a peace. And then if there is a, uh, if they deserve the peace or blessing, they will get the uh, blessing from God uh, for peace. And that's what the uh, Bible is very interesting. The first Jesus said to these 70 people after he picked. And these 70 people are uh, the one that are a follower of Jesus. They, they, they have a commitment to follow Jesus. And uh, Jesus told the 70, uh, that the first pray for the harvest and then don't take anything with you and you know have to you have to depend on God and um, uh, then when they went to the different town and when people accept them uh, give them a blessing and uh, that that's what the first thing they supposed to do. that was the instruction uh, Jesus gave to them and uh, then uh, Jesus also continued to give the instruction to start from verse uh, 7 let me read Stay in the same house, eating and drinking what they gave you, for their workers deserve his pay. Do not move around from house to house. Uh, whenever you enter a town and the people welcome you, eat what is set before you. 
Heal the sick in the town and said to them, The kingdom of God has come upon you. Uh, here, Jesus said that uh, whoever uh, the, you know, the town uh, accept them, uh, give them a, uh, first of all, uh, give them a blessing, but then, uh, just eat any, any food that they offer to you. And, uh, but then don't go around different houses, you know, you know they're not there to uh, just, you know, uh, eat the food. Uh, they're there to do the ministry. So they're uh, going around the other houses like, uh, you know, oh, that house is, seems going to give me a better deal. So it's not like that. They, they don't have even time to waste like that. So, uh, first of all, uh, it is okay to receive some offering or some money from these people or some support from these people, but don't be, you know, don't, 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 don't overdo it. And uh, there's some limit, uh, you know, like uh, you have to, you have to be, you don't think, you shouldn't, you should think of the ministry first instead of uh, your well-being. So, uh, then, uh, Jesus told them to uh, heal the sick and the most important thing is to give them a message the kingdom of God uh, is uh, near, nearby uh, the kingdom has come now uh, that's probably meant that Jesus is uh, uh, Messiah and uh, now he is here and uh, even though we are we are under the curse of this world uh, controlled by Satan and the conquer and uh, Satan reigned uh, uh, this world but uh, we eventually that will be ended, and then the, our wonderful the God's kingdom is coming. Uh, our suffering and all the uh, anguish that we have in this world will end, and it's coming. So you have to repent, and otherwise uh, people will be judged. So that's what the, uh, Jesus seems said. Uh, now from the verse ten and following, Jesus now talking about what will happen to the town will not uh, accept them. And let's read from verse 10. But whenever you enter a town and the people do not welcome you, go into the street and say, Even the dust of your town that cling to my feet, uh, we wiped off against you. Nevertheless, know this, the kingdom of God has come. Uh, this is very obvious uh, proclama proclamation that uh, Jesus uh, asked them to say is that uh, if you do not accept the 70, uh, you know, that means that they don't accept God and then also that uh, if they don't accept the God's message, they will be judged and uh, people will have nothing to do with them. And, but the fact is, whether they reject us or accept us, the kingdom of God is coming. Uh, the judgment is coming. In uh, verse 12, uh, Jesus uh, continues to say to them, I tell you, it will be more uh, bearable on that day for Sodom down for the ta that town. Woe to you, uh, Chrysan. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the miracle done in, your, uh, in uh, you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long, long ago, sitting in the sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon in the judgment that, than for you. Um, here's a uh, name of the town, the several towns name was mentioned here in the one, the Sodom and Tyra and Sidon. And those three uh, towns are uh, all the, uh, famous for uh, being judgment by God. Uh, Sodom is already being judged by God, but then the, uh, uh, the Tyra and the, uh, Sidon uh, is uh, uh, also being prophesied in the book of Isaiah to be judged. And then, as a fact, uh, if you look at the history, the time of the Jesus, the Sidon and the Tyre was still an uh, existing town, but then the now those both places are ruined. It's, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's gone. So, uh, God pit the town being judged by God, but yet, uh, those towns is better than Chrysan and Bethsaida, and then eventually in the verse 15, say the Capernaum. Uh, those city, the Chrysan and Bethsaida, is the towns in uh, 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 Galilee. And they are very close to the Jesus ministry, so they must have seen the Jesus miracle and ministry. But then some people still not accept uh, Jesus and then uh, his message. And so the people who, even though they are very close to Jesus and his uh, ministry or headquarter, uh, they they if they don't accept their message in Jesus, uh, they will be judged and um, and uh, judged very severely. 
So now then the verse 15 uh, now they talk about Capernaum uh, and you Capernaum would you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be thrown down to Haiti. The one who listen to you listen to me and the one who reject you reject me and the one who reject me reject the one who sent me. Uh, obviously here uh, Jesus is now talking about Capernaum which is the headquarter of Jesus ministry uh, was in the Galilee. So the people in Capernaum saw all the miracle and all the message uh, all the time but then some don't accept. So the uh, people who do not accept Jesus they will they end up to be judged judgment. Uh, uh, they have to end up in a place of death for uh, waiting. Uh, Haiti is a place that people wait for uh, eventual judgment uh, by God. So judgment they can avoid. Uh, but then the, uh, Jesus sending these 70 people, the people who accept the, these 70 people, it's just like they're accepting Jesus. And, but people who do not accept uh, these people, uh, they, they don't accept God. So the judgment is uh, uh, upon them. Now, until 16, verse 16, until now, it was all the instruction to the uh, 70 people uh, Jesus told them. And then after this, uh, 70 people came back from their ministry and let's read in verse 17 and 18. Then the 72 uh, returned with joy saying, Lord, even the demons submit to us in his, your name. So he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Uh, here's interesting, uh, the 70 people, or 72 people, uh, they came back with the joy even though Probably some town didn't uh, accept them. They they must have had a hard time. Uh, some you know, uh, but then they are so uh, joyful. Uh, people who went into the ministry, they probably understand this that uh, you know there, there's a hard time being minister, uh, doing a minister uh, ministry, and there's not always being accepted. Most of the time being rejected, but yet uh, there's an absolute joy for following Jesus and God. Um, it's, I think that's all we, uh, you know, the people who do in the ministry, uh, even though they have, they have a harsh time, I, I see a lot of lots joy in their work. And uh, it's a very joyous work. And uh, here's the 70 people, uh, 72 people came back with a joy. And uh, they're so excited by uh, 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 be obedient to God, even though they must have had a hard time. It's, they're like a sheep in a wolf, uh, wolf uh, 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 place, and uh, they'd be probably eating and being injured by uh, uh, wolves, but then they're very happy. And then at the same time, the, uh, the one major reason they're happy is here in the Bible, say, uh, this, uh, uh, the, even the uh, evil spirit uh, obedient to them. <clears throat> now, Jesus here indicate that he actually eyewitnessed the Satan fall down from the heaven. When that happens, um, uh, apparently the Satan was already existed at the time the Adam the Eve was created um, as, a, as a form of a serpent so that uh, probably the Satan's fall uh, uh, from the heaven was before the uh, man, uh, uh, man created, being created. So that Jesus, if he actually uh, eyewitnessed the Satan fall from the heaven, means Jesus uh, must be either angel or God himself. Now some religions uh, indicate that Jesus uh, is angel like uh, uh, as far as I know like uh, Mormon and Jehovah Witness uh, both apparently say that and uh, Jehovah Witness indicate that Jesus is like uh, uh, Archangel Michael or something. But um, we can see uh, verse 19 and following we see that that prediction cannot be correct. Uh, Jesus cannot be angel. And uh, let's read uh, in uh, verse uh, 19 and 20. Look, I have given you authority to uh, 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 treat on the snake and scorpion and on a full force of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice that the uh, uh, spirits submit to you but rejoice that you, your name stands uh, written in heaven. Here, Jesus indicates to these 70 people, you know, I mean, <clears throat> I gave you authority to overcome the uh, evil spirit, uh, Satan. Uh, if Jesus is angel, uh, if the equal with the Satans and the other angels, uh, the Jesus won't have authority to give them to overcome the Satan. Uh, the Bible revealed to us that uh, when like um, uh, Archangel Michael, uh, when he fight 
with uh, uh, Satan. They, 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 they had a fighting, yes. They had a battle between the, um, the angels in the heaven and then the, uh, uh, the fallen angels. But uh, the Satan don't have to obedient to the uh, the you know the uh, regular angel because they are they are angels both equal, but then the only God had the authority to uh, the Satan to be uh, obedient to God, and here the Jesus told that I give you author that authority that Satan will be obedient to you, and that's why they are able to uh, cast out the evil spirit. Uh, that's obviously Jesus cannot be injured at all. Jesus can have to be, and this only uh, person Jesus can be is God Himself, because He has now authority. Uh, Jesus has authority to uh, cast evil evil spirit out. And then the fact is that Jesus warned these seventy people: don't don't rejoice that you can do it, because it is not by their power; it's a God that Jesus gave the authority. And um, as a fact, when we we think is all the ministry we do, uh, that if we, we think we did it, uh, that is the same uh, uh, fault. That Lucifer himself had in the heaven that uh, you know we, we become so proud ourselves that oh we we accomplished such a big uh, ministry uh, we made this church uh, very successful uh, the attendance since I became a pastor the attendance become double and blah 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 all that kind of pride I would say is a really really something we have to uh, uh, be careful uh, Jesus said that uh, you know the all the success in the ministry is not really by you by by God and the God gave the authority and the opportunity and to do so and all we should be really happy is that our name is written in the heaven which means we should be we should be uh, very happy with the where we are we are we're saved but then Jesus uh, pointed out that he actually uh, gave the authority uh, over the Satan. And then after this, Jesus, with the uh, Holy Spirit, he uh, rejoiced and saying these words for, start from verse 21. Uh, let me read the verse 21. On the same occasion, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I praise you, Father. Lord of the heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent, and reveal them to the little children. Yes, Father, for this was your uh, glorious will. All things have been given to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except uh, the Son, and anyone to whom the Son decided to reveal him. Uh, here Jesus was so excited that he was saying is uh, uh, with the power of the Holy Spirit he was so excited that um, you know all these things that he talking about all this ministry all the secret of the things in the past uh, are revealed to the uh, little children and not to the wise people uh, now what what is probably this is uh, our message is very very simple uh, is that uh, God's kingdom is uh, is near is that uh, Jesus himself is a uh, God became a man and uh, save us and he he came here and now the, all the dominion of the Satan is just about ending and uh, uh, there's no answer to this world in you know, all the dark world we work so hard but yet there's, there's so many bad things happen in this world all that the things we're so uh, uh, struggle in this world will end and here is the hope there is and the only things that we accept or not and the people who are very wise and intelligent they think they're great they think they know everything they think they they have all the answer. They think it's a Christianity message is so dumb and way too simple for them. But yet the fact is the Christian message as a fact, and uh, Jesus really enjoyed that. Uh, this is the God's will eventually. That us uh, the, the 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 simple people or people who have the mind of a child, uh, they they accept this very very uh, naturally. They they don't you know they accept very simply the God's offer. But some people who are very wise, or they think they are wise, uh, and they think they know everything, and uh, they think they are great, uh, those people, just because of their own uh, uh, pride, that they will not accept this uh, God's offer, offering. And uh, then, Jesus now tells the disciple the very similar thing, the disciple, you guys are very lucky, uh, in verse 23. Then Jesus turned to his disciple and said uh, privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings uh, long to see what you see, but did not see it. 
and to hear what you hear, but did not hear. Uh, now Jesus told these 12 disciples, uh, you guys are also very lucky because now you see, I, actually you are eyewitness of these events that uh, God himself came and the salvation is now available. And uh, you, you guys are very lucky. Even though, as you know, that these 12 disciples, they are uh, murdered, they are actually killed in the, uh, the way, way just unbelievable uh, pain that they had to go through. But yet, uh, they are very lucky that Jesus told them because now they actually uh, eyewitness uh, these events. Um, here, uh, Jesus sent 72 people or 70 people to the world and he indicated that uh, they're like a sheep uh, that sent to the, uh, where the wolves are. And uh, without God, these sheep will be eaten right away. Like, uh, you know, before you become a Christian, uh, we become Christians. Uh, we're like a sheep. We, we've been so hurt by uh, this world and there's such a cool this, this world don't have a really a kindness or love uh we've been we've been mistreated and be beaten but then uh the these sheep that now uh, the god is sending uh to the world is they are actually the god sheep so the god is wisdom the uh, jesus is a shepherd and these sheep are among the wolves but when the wolf try to uh, be mean to the sheep but then uh the, this sheep is actually uh the god is with this sheep so with the god's power and his authority the wolf cannot harm them and the uh, wolf can uh, uh, be even obedient to God's uh, 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 you know, uh, judgment and then uh, uh, Jesus actually uh, revealed to these people that you know, they gave the power to do so and then people who accept this uh, uh, message they're given uh, through the, these sheep, the God's message through these sheep that when people accept, they will have uh, been uh, blessed and uh, they will be uh, have a peace. But people who do not accept, uh, they will be judged eventually. And uh, so that is a really uh, today's message really condense all the our really uh, 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 salvation message that we have. Either you accept Jesus or not. If you don't, you eventually be judged. If you accept, you have a blessing from God and the peace. Um, now. We, if we try to do our ministry without God, uh, we're just like a sheep and a wolf without shepherds. So we'd be eaten. And uh, we've always been uh, attacked by Satan, and that's a painful and miserably we fail. And, um, uh, you know, we will be suffer. Uh, but with God, uh, we have a joy. And even we look suffer, but we're not. And uh, because God is with us. Now, Jesus came in this Christmas season as Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God is with us. And that is a very good news. Finally, all the years of the human history, that now God is with us all the time. And if you believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will reside in you, which Jesus himself is with you all the time. And <clears throat> the, with the, because of the Jesus presence, you can overcome Satan and his, uh, uh, all that, uh, you know, things that you probably having a, a hard time in this world, that will change into the joy instead of doing uh, uh, pain. And, and that you're going to have a ministry. The ministry itself becomes a joy. Uh, so this season of the Christmas, please remember that Jesus came as Emmanuel, the God who is with us. And this is a great opportunity for you to accept his uh, offering as a uh, uh, simple sacrifice for you in your life that Jesus came as a gift from God that uh, you accept and you're gonna have eternal life and if you don't then you'll be judged very very simple message and uh, don't be like uh, wise and intelligent that they think is that they know everything but please please accept this offer uh, as a child uh, shall we pray well, thank you for this message and uh, you sent, you picked the 70 people and the instruction was very clear uh, for them to pray for the harvest and also they uh, let them uh, bless the house that uh, accept them and give them a message that your kingdom is now come near. Um, Lord, however, the other people may not accept you and uh, those people will be severely judged and this is a fact that you revealed through the Bible. Um, that we like to be with you and your servant and your sheep because you're with us and with you that we can be 
uh, if, if we can beat the Satan, but without you, we will be eaten like a sheep and uh, uh, eaten by the uh, uh, wolf. So Lord, please uh, help us and be with us and protect us from the evil one as well. Lord, thank you for this opportunity and remind us you are with us as Emmanuel in this Christmas season. Lord, Lord thank you for all this. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, you take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.